Hi there, my name's Steve. I'm the Ecology Ranger here at the Boxmoor Trust and for the final time we're going to give you an update on our lambing. As you can see behind us now, it's a much quieter shed than it was when we first started bringing these videos to you um, as all of our ewes and our lambs are now out in the field. We've had 68 lambs across the six weeks of lambing and our team have worked tirelessly to make sure that it's gone as smoothly as we possibly can. As you can see, there ends up being a lot of muck to take out of the sheds when the whole process is finished. On my right hand side here, you can see how the straw is built up over time with all of the muck that the sheep left behind us. And on the left hand side, this is just from the pens that we use as well. Behind us, you can see that all the hurdles are starting to be stacked and put away. And this is something that we take very seriously. It needs to be disinfected. The whole shed will be disinfected by the end of the program and our stockmen and our volunteers that come in twice a week spend a lot of time making sure that everything is clean and ready for next year's setup. Those of you that will be lucky enough to join us in the next year's lambing weekend will see these boards posted around the sheds. These explain the processes of how the lambs present themselves and what challenges the team face. We'll give you a moment now to pause and read any information that's on the screen. Here on this second board, it shows you the problems that are caused by a backwards birth, a breech birth, and if they have their legs facing backwards as well. It's important to note from the first board that usually the lambs present themselves in a superman position, where their legs end up forward and their head coming forward as well. And our final board, showing the problems with elbow lock position, head back, and simultaneous births. Our team spend a lot of time making sure that the lambs and the ewes are as safe as possible through the process. So not all the hard work is done yet. We have to make sure that all of our lambs are provided with enough milk that they can grow big and strong for their, our needs. Sometimes we have problems with the teats, with the ewes, and we need to put lambs onto one of these milkmaids. As you can see here, we have a teat that provides the milk and a nice bucket in there that's kept warm, just like it would be inside the mum. So our hard work's not done yet, but we're almost at the end of the tunnel. I want to say thank you to everyone that's listened to the videos, and it's been brilliant to bring this to you from the Boxmore Trust.